Sudhata, Miuri's Handy Mom and in today's video I would like to show you how I built this small portable tool caddy with lots of storage in the form of these uh, four shallow drawers. Uh, storage on the side, storage on the back and of course storage on the top. So you want to know how I built it? Keep watching. Everything needed to build this caddy came from my shop itself including the lumber which came from my scrap bin. I did all the ripping and cutting of the cabinet and drawer parts to size on my table saw. Now that all the drawer pieces and all the frame pieces have been cut to size, uh, now is the time to start assembly. So for the assembly, uh, I'll start with putting the frame together. So to attach the top uh, to the cabinet, I'll be using these cleats. First, I turned the cabinet sides upside down and then to attach the cleats for the top, I used this 1 inch thick scrap piece of lumber to offset the cleats from the top edge. That way, the top would set inside the sides leaving about quarter inch lip on both sides. So there will be a, a small lip uh, at the top of the cabinet uh, to keep the stuff from uh, falling over. Yeah. So I'll be attaching these stretches to the cabinet uh, with uh, pocket screws. I'll cut this to a size later on but the width is just right so now I can see yeah I used slat wall on the back of the cabinet then again I used the slat wall because I had it on hand You can also use pegboard instead or even plain wood if you don't have or don't want to use either one of these. So this is upside down so I'll be attaching this now. I trimmed the front edge of the melamine top with solid point. It's always a good idea to clean the glue squeeze out with a wet rag before it dries out. Uh, I'll be making four shallow drawers for the small uh, tools and hardware for a portable use. I'm going to install the slides before I build the drawers. I'll install the slides and then measure between the slides and then build the exact uh, width drawers. To drill holes in the slides, I'll be using this self-centering drill bit. It's also called a hinge drill bit. So this helps keep the hole uh, right in the middle uh, rather than you know deviating uh, on, on sideways. I built the drawers with simple rabbit and butt joints. First I made rabbits on the two sides and then to measure for the front and back of the drawers I installed the drawer part of the slides on two scrap pieces of lumber and attached those to the cabinet for exact measurements of the back and front parts. Once all the pieces were cut to size, assembly of the drawers went pretty quickly especially with my shop made corner supports.
To attach the quarter inch thick plywood fit fronts to the drawers, I started with the bottom drawer and worked my way up to the top drawer keeping about quarter inch gap in between. I had to take out the cabinet top to attach the fake front to the top drawer. Finally, I filled the nail holes with the drywall compound, sanded smooth when dry and gave the drawer fronts two coats of white paint. For no particular reason, I gave the cabinet two coats of teal color paint. I think I'm in love with this color or maybe I have a gallon full in my stash and I just want to use it. For the side of the cabinet, I made a small melamine shelf with two holes for the tool holders. I used plastic glass for size reference and made two holes in the shelf with hole saw in my drill press. Also, I trimmed this shelf with solid pine which I had painted to match the cabinet. Then I installed the shelf on the side of the cabinet on L brackets. First I installed the brackets and then fixed the shelf on the brackets with screws on the underside. And finally, I attached the top to the cabinet with screws on both sides. So now let's see how it has come together finally. Uh, this bin and uh, uh, these hooks I got at a store closing sale. Yeah. So that's pretty much about it. This caddy is all finished, and only thing now left to do is fill it up with hardware and small tools. And yeah, I'm really happy the way this has turned out, and it'll keep me a lot more organized when I'm working outside of my shop, which happens quite a lot these days. So I'll be putting together plans for this caddy pretty soon. So check back later if you're interested to build one for yourself. I hope you guys like this video and if you have any questions regarding this project or any other project of mine, shoot me a comment and I'll definitely get back to you. So that's all for today's video guys. I'll see you next. Until then, take care.